now we can make the body charge by different phenomena so out of that we can actually charge the body by the process conduction and we can also charge the body by the process induction so uh, first how the conduction uh, like how with the help of conduction we can charge the body i'll illustrate an example then i'll state a statement in front of you suppose we have one insulate uh, one body which is uncharged right it is placed on a stand we have another body which is charged it is again placed on the stand let's say it has a positive charge so this is my body a and this is my body b so as you can see that this is charged and this is uncharged now what i uh, do is i uh, i bring this uncharged body b towards the charged body a let's say i'm just um, and what i'm doing is i'm touching it actually so this my body b that is uncharged is touched with body a now what happened when a uh, uncharged body is touched with a charged body charge from this flows into b so that means the, it has a positive charge so obviously positive charge will flow from a to b so as a result it will also acquire a positive charge right so that means you can actually make uncharged body charge by touching it with the charged body and if in case it has a negative charge and i'm going to touch this uncharged body then the negative charge flow will um, like some of the negative charge will flow from body a to body b so that means whenever you touch uncharged body with charged body same kind of charge flows from that body to the uh, to the uncharged body not the whole charge few charges uh, move from the charged body to the uncharged body so this is what is a conduction but for that this you have to touch the bodies so that means when we touch an uncharged conductor with a charged conductor with uh, then the uncharged conductor shares the charge of the charged conductor right so this is what is a charging by conduction and uh, you have to notice that the same charge will acquire uh, in the uncharged body now we can actually charge by induction now what is induction suppose i have one uncharged body placed on a stand and uh, let's say this is a and here i have the uh, charged body let's say it has a positive charge <coughs> now what happen when i'm this is my this is b right so this is charged as you can see and this is uncharged now when i'll bring this charged body to uh, like i when i'll just place them near that means i'm not touching them because in this i was touching them here we do, we don't need, uh, we don't need to touch them we are just placing an uncharged body closer to the charged body then what happen this charge this is positive charge because we know it will also contain atom containing protons and electrons many atoms which will contain positive and negative charge so what will happen because this is a positive charge so it is going to attract uh, the electrons of uh, present in this uncharged body towards itself so as a result this corner will acquire a negative charge because many electrons many of the electrons which was uniformly distributed before but after keeping near the charged body because this charge is positive so it will attract the electrons so that means the there is unequal distribution of charges now the negative charge will move towards this corner and as a result this will acquire a positive charge because this side will become rich in protons so that that means uh, you don't have to touch them you we have seen that we have not touched them actually but just due to attraction it is just pulling the negative charge towards itself and because negative charge is being pulled here so it will acquire uh, the other charge on this side so you know you don't need to touch so this is the charging by induction that means when you're just keeping them uh, closer so one charged body is inducing the another charge inducing means due to that uh, the charge on the charged body it is attracting the opposite charge so it, the one corner will acquire that opposite charge and the other the other charge so this is when uncharged conductor like this is placed close to the charged conductor we kept closer then without touching it they are not touching so we say that the nearer end of uncharged acquire a charge of opposite nature it was positive so it has acquired negative if it would have been negative then it would have been positive as a, as compared to the charge on the charge conductor so this is what is the charging by induction so now what is the difference between the charging by conduction and charging by induction the first is that in conduction you need to touch them in induction we don't need to touch them we just need to uh, make them closer right 
second is this when we touch them in this the the strength of the charge on a get reduced because some of the charges will flow from a to b but here the strength of charge is going to remain as such because charge is not flowing from this body to this body it is just inducing the charge but the charge the, char the net charge which was present in this body is here only and the net charge which is present in this body is here only in this it is going to acquire the same kind of charge as you've seen that if it is positive it is going to transfer a positive charge if it would have been negative it will acquire a negative charge but here what happened it, suppose this is positive so it will induce opposite charge on this side that is negative and if it would have been negative it would have been uh, induced a positive charge and the op opposite to it will be on the other side so this is what is the difference between the charging by conduction and induction you need to touch you don't need to touch the strength of charge get reduced the strength of charge in the charge body remains same same charge is being acquired opposite charge is acquired on the nearer end to the uh, towards the charge body so this is what is the difference between the charging by conduction and induction so two methods and uh, you know how to illustrate it and uh, the difference also you are familiar now